Hello, welcome to another TA Tech Tip. In this Tech Tip, we would like to show you how to install three balls on plate geometries on a Discovery Hybrid Rheometer for tribal rheometry measurements. TA Instruments Discovery Hybrid Rheometer is equipped with four different types of tribal rheometry accessories. Among them, this three balls on plate geometry provides the capability of testing the coefficient of friction on a solid surface such as coating. If you are using the Peltier temperature control system for advanced Peltier plate, you will need to attach this tribal rheometry holder to the top of the Peltier plate first. Then insert this 40 millimeter disposable plate or this 45 millimeter stainless steel cup to the holder. Tighten the screws on the side. For disposable Peltier users, you can directly insert this disposable plate or this cup to the Peltier. After that, Install this Peltier to the bottom of the rheometer. Press this button to temporarily release the magnet. Put the Peltier onto the instrument bottom stage. Then insert the smart swap plug with the red dot facing up. After that, plug in the circulating tubes and turn on the circulator. For the top fixture, you will need to use this long coupling adapter. Insert the beam coupling, and then attach the three ball on plate upper geometry. Users can attach all three balls, or just use one ball depending on their test need. After that, install this upper geometry to the top of the rheometer. In the geometry kit, there are two beam couplings, the aluminum coupling and the stainless steel coupling. These couplings are used to provide excellent alignment between the two surfaces and ensure a uniform distribution of the axial force during the measurement. In general, the aluminum coupling is commonly used for lower axial force testing, and the stainless steel coupling is used for higher axial force testing. If you're using the ETC as temperature control for your tribal rheometry test, attach your 40 millimeter disposable plate or this 45 millimeter stainless steel cup to the ETC disposable bottom stage. Tighten the screws on the side and then install this stage to the bottom of the rheometer. From the instrument control panel, press this button to temporarily release the magnet. Put this ETC bottom geometry onto the instrument bottom stage. Then insert the smart swab plug with the red dot facing up. After that, install this upper geometry to the top of the rheometer. Depending on the testing need, users can attach different type of substrate to the bottom plate or use different type of upper balls. Setting up a tribal rheometry test on a Discovery Hybrid rheometer is very straightforward. First of all, after attaching the upper and lower geometry to the rheometer, users need to zero the gap. If needed, from the TRIO software control panel, also zero the axial force. After that, lower the upper geometry until it is in contact with the bottom plate. Apply a constant axial force, either from the TRIO's control panel or in the test procedure under the conditioning step.
The test procedure of measuring the coefficient of friction as a function of sliding speed can be either a flow ramp or a flow sweep. Here is one example of testing the coefficient of friction on a paint coating surface. In this TA Tech Tip, we have learned how to set up the three ball on plate geometry on a Discovery Hybrid rheometer. We have also shown you how to set up a flow test procedure to measure the coefficient of friction as a function of sliding speed. Please stay tuned for more helpful TA Tech Tips, and thank you for your interest.